إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ويهده الله فلا مدل له وما يدل فلا حادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا قوما سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ما بعد فان استك الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار really all the praise certainly all of the magnification and dedication should be for Allah and Allah alone and I inwardly and I outwardly acclaim and attest and profess there is nothing or no one that deserves to be worshipped except for Allah Jalla fi Jalala, Rabb Ta'ala, Allah Azim, the one who is known to be Allah Akbar min kulli shayya. Allah is greater than everything and everyone. And on one yom, the topic for today, Yahwan, it is in the light of the topic known as Fiqhat al Waqi'ah. Al Fiqhat al Waqi'ah. Al fiqhatu waqia, which many people they don't like to discuss this topic, knowledge of the current affairs, Yahweh. What is going on in the world right now in front of us? Also, in light of Yahweh, al fitin wa ashratu sa'a, from Yahweh, the tribulations and the portents of the last hour. My dear brothers, it maybe didn't affect you the way that it affected me, but within the last few weeks, Yahweh, we have been watching on TV and on social media and on the radio. We've been listening to what's been going on in the country below us and the horrific events that have happened within the last two weeks, Yahweh. And from amongst those events, Yahweh, and I talked to a Muslim and he said, well, that doesn't concern us. They are, they're not Muslims. See, Yahweh, what is wrong with you that you don't care about innocent people? You don't care about children? that you have a problem that you make such a statement, Yahweh. But now what about those, Yahweh, that have family members that just live down the road? If you go across this pond here, this beautiful lake here, Yahweh, just half an hour, there is a city called Buffalo. I have relatives that actually live in that city, Yahweh, that live just a few miles away from one of those horrific incidents that happened. 
And we found Yahweh that within the last few weeks in Buffalo, more than a dozen innocent people were killed in cold blood by a racist hater, Yahweh. Someone who drove from one area to another to get rid of people because their jilled, their color is a little bit different, Yahweh. These people were killed, Yahweh, while they were just in a grocery store shopping, Yahweh. They went to go get some groceries for their family, and they never came back, Yahweh. This particular individual, Antalalehi, he drove with intent to a different community, Yahweh, to inflict terror on these people, Yahweh. He was 18 years of age, but he also had what is known as the audacity or the, unam the unmitigated gall that while he was doing this heinous act, he actually broadcasted it live on a live stream, Yahweh, going into a grocery store, taking out his AK-47 or whatever type of rifle he had, and just killing people innocently, Yahweh. People that just went to go shopping, he killed them. And we look at it, Yahweh, I have three cousins that just lived down the road. Three of them. Ten minutes away from this area, Yahweh. So it had an effect on me because they called me to tell me what happened. And some of the Muslims are like, yeah, but they're not Muslim, why should we worry about it? Yeah, but that's from my Aqrabin, Yahweh, that's from my family. And then a week later again, something horrible happened, Yahweh. A week later, in the state of Texas, an 18-year-old got some guns and he went to a school and he killed dozens of innocent children under the age of 12 years, Yahweh, for no reason. He had maybe some anger management problems. Some say that his grandmother taught at that school without the Allah, Allah, the reasons why. But he went, Yahweh, and he killed innocent children under the age of 12 years old that just wanted to go to school. Yahweh, this rocked the nation, as they say. The so-called land of milk and honey that that country is known for, Yahweh, prosperity, and development, and we look at Yahweh as nothing but moral decay. The question comes, Yahweh, will there be any change in the next two years? Will we see, will we be on the same page, the same place as next year? What has this got to do with Islam, Yahweh? Well, we know, Yahweh, that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as we said on this member many times, he is known as Sadiq Wal Masduq. He is the believed, he's the one who speaks the truth, and he is the believed, Yahweh. And Nabi Wasallam, he is the prophet of Allah. You have to understand that, the Nabi Allah. That means he makes prophecies, Yahweh, that come to fruition. Like it, like it, hate it, who hates it. And as we know, Yahweh, these things, they happen from time to time. And before we get into the delil that we have, Yahweh, we want to bring an ayah from the book of Allah Ta'ala. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allah Ta'ala goes on to say, Wa taqo fitnatan la tusibanna alladheena zalamu minkum khasa wa alamu anna Allah shadeen al Allah Ta'ala goes on to say, And fear the fitna, the afflictions, the trials, which affect not particularly any of those who do wrong, but it may affect the good and the bad, and know that Allah He is severe in punishment. Yahweh. So fitness happens from time to time, my dear brothers. You could be in a halal restaurant. You could be in a, a restaurant that's not halal, and something happens. You just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, as they say, and some evil can happen. So the so for the believer, Yahweh, when we leave our house, we should be saying, "Aul bi kalimati la taamati min sharri ma khalaq." Any time we go to any place. We should be invoking Allah in the morning saying, Bismillah ladhi, These are the doors, as well as ayat to curse we should make it to ask Allah to protect us from the unseen things and the seen things, Ya Ikhwan. Divine protection is necessary, Ya Ikhwan, when you leave your house. Your PhD is not going to help you. Your Mercedes Benz is not going to help you. Your fancy house or degree or status in society is not going to help Yahuwah from the unseen things and from the seen things, Yahuwah. We need to, Yahuwah, get closer to Allah Ta'ala. So, Yahuwah, this is something, Yahuwah, what is known as the sign of times, Yahuwah. 
And these things, inshallah ta'ala, as I was studying and putting this khutbah together, something at the end of the studies came and it popped up to me, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to explain it to you brothers, inshallah ta'ala. We have here, Akhwan, what is known as one of the brothers, he said that what is happening to society, it is a cocktail or it is a buffet. We find in countries like this, ya Akhwan, we find it rampant with atheism. They don't believe in God, some people. Mental illness. Moral depravity, broken families, lack of social conscience, the availability of guns, guns being cheap, violent culture, hatred and racism, and crazy politics. It is a formula for disaster. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we live in a safer country. But Yahwan, anything can jump off at any time, as this is the sign of times, my dear brothers. We are talking about al fitin wa ashrat sah. So now, let us, inshallah ta'ala, before we ask our beautiful questions, let us get into the hadith of the Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he mentioned this, Yahwan, which makes him sadiq wal mastuq, and suhail, and abihi, and abi hurayrata, and rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La taqumu sa'atu. حَتَّى يَكْثَرَ الْحَرْجِ قَالُ وَمَا الْحَرْجِ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهُ قَالَ أَقَتْلُ أَقَتْلُ The last hour will not come unless there is much bloodshed. They said, what is al-harj? Their party said, bloodshed, bloodshed. Now many people when they quote this hadith, they're talking about the Muslim lands, Muslims killing Muslims. But ya khwan, there's Muslims killing Muslims, Non-Muslims killing Muslims, Muslim killing non-Muslims, Ya Akhwan. This haraj can fall into anybody, Ya Akhwan. Husband killing wife, son killing father. Evil and haraj, Ya Akhwan. We need to seek refuge in Allah from this. Also, we find the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he went on to say, and this is an authority, and Abi Hurairata, qala qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wa nafsi la tadhabu ad-dunya, hatta yati al nas the world would not come to an end until a day will come to the people on which the murderer would not know why he has killed and the slain would not know as to why he's been murdered. So imagine, Yahweh, you have some money in your pocket. Your wife told you to get some eggs, milk, bread. You get in your car, you drive to the place, and you never come home, Yahweh. You don't know why you were killed, and the guy who killed you had no personal beef or no personal problem with you, he just wanted to kill you, Yahweh. This is the fitna in the land, Yahweh. Many of the Muslims, they believe that they escaped the corruption in the Muslim lands, Yahweh, to come to a place like North America. Where there's been so much corruption for so many years, Yahweh, if you look at it through different lenses, Yahweh, there's been a lot of problems. So we seek and invoke Allah's protection, Yahweh, for ourselves and for our loved ones. So, Yahweh, continuing, we find the next hadith of the Prophet, where he went on to say, all three of these hadith are collected in Imam Muslim and the Bab of Fitin, trials and afflictions. By him in whose hand is my life, a time will not come when the murderer will not know why he has committed the murder and the victim will not know why he has been killed. Yahweh, I had some discussions with some people the other day and one brother was telling me that he had a discussion with a Muslim brother and the Muslim brother said, eh, it's just black people who got shot. So, they're monkeys anyway. Imagine this, a Muslim saying this about the creation of Allah. Imagine this, Muslim saying, ah, they're just monkeys, they're black people. Eh, it's insignificant. Yeah, why? you could have been in that store, you could have got hit by a stray bullet too. You could have been visiting, there's lots of Arab brothers that go back across and they visit their family. A lot of Pakistani brothers that go back, a lot of Somali brothers. People from all over the Muslim world go back and forth to Buffalo, Yahweh. Sometimes, Yahweh, you could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And a fitna can happen to you. So we don't wish any fitna on anyone, Yahweh. 
But the Muslim, he needs to be aqil and intelligent, ya ikhwan, and to realize that when there is, ya ikhwan, corruption and destruction in the earth, we need to seek Allah's refuge from that because, ya ikhwan, we are human beings. First, ya ikhwan, can you imagine the Muslims saying they're just black people, they're like monkeys. doesn't matter if they get killed. It shows you the state of the ummah, ya ikhwan, when this comes off the tongue of a Muslim. Imagine what's in his heart, ya ikhwan. Imagine for him to say this to another Muslim brother. Whether, and there's been people, and I've heard them say this with my own ears, about people like me and people darker than me, that we're just Negroes with Tawheed. Think about that, Yahweh. We're your brothers in Islam. And Muslims would say these evil things, Yahweh. What's in the hearts of the Muslims, Yahweh? Sometimes the punishment of Allah will come upon us with evil hearts. We seek Allah's refuge with that. The Quran Quran had enough stuff to make so so you know stuff to do. Alhamdulillah. Hamdin kathirin tayyiban mubarakin fi. Kama yuhibbuhu Allah wa yarda. My dear brothers, while I was preparing for this lecture, there are some things that I learned while I was in high school, ya khwan. I learned, ya khwan, that anytime you're doing any scientific research or you need some things answered, you need to know the who, the what, the when, the why, the where, and the how. But nobody seems to ask these questions no more. <coughs> so here's some questions that came to my mind, Ya Khwan, as I was putting this khutbah together. What's the cause of this? What's the reason for this? Who is at fault? Who knew about it? Who could have prevented it? <coughs> who didn't prevent it? Who makes money off of it? Guns is a billion dollar industry, Yahweh. Who is doing the shooting of the innocents? Is this a punishment? Is there a punishment for the people who sell guns? Who is suffering? Think of all the mothers and fathers and grandparents who lost their children. Think of all the wives or husbands who lost their family. What is life worth? What is a life worth? Enough, what is it worth? Who should be held accountable for this? How much millions and billions are being made selling these things? Rat tat tat tat, <laughs> splat from the gap, they're dead. Who's thinking about them? The last two weeks, Ya Juan, many innocent women and children have died. But now the question comes, Ya Juan. Does this also happen in the Muslim lands? Yes, it happens in the Muslim lands. Sometimes Muslims are killing Muslims, Ya Ikhwan. So before we can blame any mujtama, any society, we need to look at ourselves and our behavior first, Ya Ikhwan. The question comes, and they ask for which crime he was killed. Brothers, I need answers. You should need answers. We're talking in light of fiqh to waqia, knowledge of the current affairs. When you turn on the TV, on the radio, on the social media, the world seems stranger every single day. It seems stranger than it was the day before. When you hear of horrific things that might never happen before. Brothers, the Muslim has forgotten a, a kanz in Kunuz al-Jannah. It's a very powerful statement. And the Muslims need to remember this. Anytime you hear anything crazy happening, the first thing that should be coming off you is the then you should be saying, Allah is aid is suck. The Muslims have forgot to say these things. When the thinkable becomes a nightmare, but what happens if it's become a daymare, ya ikhwan? Evil happens in the night, we know that. Robbing, stealing, shooting, and sometimes the Muslims are involved. But in the daytime, in cold blood in the day, ya ikhwan, things are going crazy. When you become, ya ikhwan, Just when you become ya ikhwan, desensitized by the news. Ah, one person died, that ain't no big deal. Ah, three people died, that ain't no big deal. Ah, five people died, that ain't no big deal. I mean, just turn the page and forget about ya ikhwan. Someone's loved one died, and we don't care about it. Ya ikhwan, the question is, are we even reflecting how we're going to die, ya ikhwan? 
we hope that we have a husnul khatim that maybe we die in salat, we die at hajj, we die maybe when we're praying or we're doing some sadaqah. But when we leave the house, you hope for safety and security, my dear brothers. We ask Allah to give us serenity and peace, my brothers. Don't take life, Ya Akhwan, like it's just a game. You're walking on the earth today. Ah, I'm just going to get a shawam. Alhamdulillah, everything is good. Mashihad. Kulu sha'al ma yaram. Everything is good. Alhamdulillah. Ya Akhwan, I know Muslims. And I know non Muslims, Ya Akhwan. Their tire breaks down and it's the end of the world. Wala hawla, wala kuwata illallah. My tire broke down. It's the end of the world. I've had lots of tires break down on me, and more than that, Yahuan. So, mashallah, if that's your start, Yahuan, where you're having a hard time, just keep praising Allah and ask for his protection, as he's al hafid he is the protector, Yahuan. He is in control of everything. But you must ask Allah for his protection, Yahuan. Don't forget, Yahuan, when you leave your house, you are under the protection of Allah and his angels. And ask Allah to send help to protect you and to protect the people. With that, my brothers, we ask you to reflect on all those people that they lost their lives innocently. And Allah Ta'ala, He knows their situation. Ya Ikhwan, all I know is that people are scared, Ya Ikhwan, to leave their house. As we know, in London last year, some Muslims were ran over the city of London and just went out for a walk and they were mowed down by a car, Ya Ikhwan. So it can happen to a Muslim and a non-Muslim. But now the question comes, where is our humanity? Do we even care, Ya Akhwan? Or does the person have to be your color, from your background, that speaks your lahja or your language, or they went to your school for you to care? Brothers, consult your heart. With that, hadha ma'indi wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam ala سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك شهد ولا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك brothers this moved my heart last week because my family was just down the road from this accident yeah and I lost a cousin from that family more than 25 years ago when he was just walking down the streets in LA and someone came and took a gun and just shot him in the back of his head yeah my family so this shows you yeah that anything can happen at any time. We need to ask Allah to give us a better circumstance than we have. Give us a lot of right